So how can we actually prevent moral hazard? Remember, the moral hazard exists because of the reduced cost of being somewhat careless. So what we need to do is somehow align those costs better. One way to do this is for insurance companies to require what are formally called proportional coinsurance payments. More commonly, these are known as copays. <clears throat> Though I should point out that copays can take many forms. Specifically, what the proportional coinsurance payments accomplish is charging the patient more money for more expensive treatments and less money for less expensive treatments. In doing so, what they accomplish is introducing a price differential. Okay. <clears throat> they introduce a difference between the price of routine, preventative, or maintenance care and the more extreme care that becomes necessary as a result of even a slight increase in carelessness. So what we've done is we've effectively made it costly to you to ignore the routine care appointments, such as the dental visits, where you're just getting your teeth cleaned, and made it more costly to you <clears throat> to have the cavities filled. Right? Because of that, you are more likely to behave in a way that is less careless.